What is all this? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, but you can call me Jen. I'm a musical theatre performer and a voice teacher. And today, if you're watching this on the day of release, this is my day two of my voice play week. If you're watching this at any other point, then <laughs> welcome to this video. I'm gonna keep this introduction short and snappy because voice play videos tend to go very, very long. <laughs> so let's try and do this real fast. But basically, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I will be reacting to voice play content that I need to catch up on. Thank you to my patrons who voted for what I should react to on my day three and four. If you do want to get involved next time with the voting, then do make sure you're over on Patreon. I've left the link in the description below. But as always, this is a reaction and an analysis video, so we'll be stopping and talking about the vocals. If you'd rather watch the full thing uninterrupted, then you can do so as I have left the link to the original video in the description below. Did you know that I have a new single coming out this month? <laughs> so exciting, the 22nd of September. I am not yet telling you what the title is though, so make sure you'll follow me over on social media. But I will keep you posted over here as well. I know I'm chatting so much and I said this is gonna be so fast. Please hit that subscribe button and the bell button and let's get to Queen. I never even said what I'm reacting to today. <laughs> I was about to just get into it. Right, today we are reacting to Queen in five minutes by voice play. <sighs> let's go. Is this the Fantasy caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Reality, reality. Okay, uh, shooketh, but let's go back. <laughs> uh, this, like, what's happening in my ear, it's terrifying. Uh, really, really lovely. Uh, so obviously, this is Earl is in this. So, this is when Earl and Jay Nunn are in voice play. This is four years ago, it says, and uh, Lane and Ellie arranged this. So that's exciting. Again. Is this the real life? I don't think there's anything different from the original harmonies there. That sounds real, like, I don't think there's anything. What are you doing? No, which is great. <laughs> because we know it's so filled with harmonies. Unless I'm wrong, there might be, I need to like listen to it a bit better, but. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. reality I love that. Reality. What is all this? Dark Angel and Gatekeeper? Tool, Skull Cane. All right. All right. Okay, this is like... It's a cool rhythm with this. I love the... Ooh, that we resolve there. Reality. I love how cheeky that bass line is. Open up your mind. <laughs> Open up your mind and let me step inside. Rest your weary head and let your heart decide. It's so easy. It's so easy. All you have to do is play the game. Play. So many good. What? Um, okay, first of all, <laughs> didn't, didn't realize we're watching Grey's Anatomy. I've never watched Grey's Anatomy. Don't know why I said that. <laughs> the musical episode. I watched that one. <laughs> I reacted to that like few, many years back. Um, okay, really cool. I love this cheeky, innocent higher kind of quality that we have with Jay Nunn and he's, as he's singing. It's really lovely. I want to talk about a f two things that he's doing vocally, which are really cool. Up your mind and let me step inside. Step inside. He breaks. It's not an evident break here. Later on, you can really hear a flip in his voice where he's going from thicker fold connection to a thin fold connection and shoving uh, air through as well. So a falsetto-esque. Here is a little bit more... Um, 
not quite falsetto as last time. I think it's because we hear that evident flip. Uh, uh, like here, because we're swapping. I don't know if later if it's on two notes or not. We'll get to it. But here, step so spoke spoke so spoken like da 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 then when he goes up here it's just a lot more of a thinner quality really nice really connected to his chest voice though down here <laughs> open up your mind and let me step inside rest your weary head and let your heart decide it's so easy easy we're opening up to an a your weary head and let your heart decide it's so easy when you it's so easy. Easy. Okay, so he doesn't D D, but because he's E, he's not changing vowel. It's way more evident and he's purposely putting in that E. You can hear it kind of like together. Ah, then we break. <laughs> uh, it's a lot more breathy there. It's so easy. nice. Easy. When you know the rules, it's, it's so easy. easy. All you have to do is play the game. I love how smooth his onset is here. All you, all you have to do, ah, oh, it's like so open and bright. It's so musical theater like. All the rules, it's so easy. All you have to do is play the game, play the game. Everyone play the game. Each game. B flat here. He's in a lovely mix quality here. Really lovely and pure. Just often offering a lot of. Uh, softer qualities there. I said, let's talk about two things, and I said about a million. <laughs> Everyone play the game. I love that lead. Ooh. Each morning I get up, I die a little. little. Can't barely stand on my feet. Take a look, look in the mirror and cry. And cry. God, what you what doing to do me? The man, no, we do it to me. He's on a, um, L went on a pure me vowel, but everyone else, man just like that easy that we had earlier just opening it up it's you know modifying the word a little bit depending on where they are um gosh Elle's voice it's so connected up there it's it's so unique it's so lovely um and this connection that he has in his upper part is insane barely stand on my feet. Take a so b flat there again barely stand on my feet and he's keeping quite Notice no, it's not, can barely stand on my, I mean, that's very British. <laughs> stand, stand, like it's offering his natural accent. I haven't, have I heard him talk? I'm not sure. But stand, notice how it's a lot smaller rather than stand, stand on, stand on. It's almost like it's got an I vowel in there. Stand on is, it just means that we are a lot more narrow and smaller. So he's able to maneuver around this area of his voice and not bring up too much weight. He's in a glorious mix. Cry. They really go on that dip thong there. Though you're doing too. Really lovely connected C5 there for the Doing too. Yeah, doing too. It's not too pure. It's a bit open. Doing to me. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Relief, Lord. Somebody. 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 <laughs> I love that. Somebody. Again, similar to what Jay Nunn did earlier with the obvious flip. He's really playing into the fact and letting those vocal folds just become thin, sending lots of air through. So we're not getting full vocal fold closure as he's flipping, but he has to have full vocal closure beforehand so we hear that clear difference that evident difference really i love that Lord, somebody, 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 somebody can anybody find me time but committed no crime and bad mistakes oh, <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> Jeff is showcasing a lot here and I don't know where we're going to go even more. Okay, cool. I love that whilst we have Jeff singing this 
what is I can't hear the uh, 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 I've got the other song in my head now oh my gosh ah so it's we are the champions whilst he's singing this we're getting dum 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 in the background so it's nice that they kind of put those two together it's just a nice little uh would you call that an easter egg i guess you would wouldn't you let's call it an easter egg uh i love the uh jeff's connection with his voice the full vocal full closure here really lovely and clean sound his his diction is so on point it's just so clear and consistent the sound that he produces and then another thing i love these like subtle rumor senses and we're getting like character from the like jay nun giving us some like what is going on over there? Love it. Oh, I left that softening. Time after time. Oh, it works so well. <laughs> oh, I love Abdomasins. That slide off of his voice as well is very I was gonna say conversational, but we don't tend to do that in conversations. No, <laughs> like come off of it. But it seems so like relaxed and chill when his voice is just like, mmm, <laughs> so cool. Um, I've done my sentence, oh. mm, sentence. But committed no crime uh, But committed no mm. Yeah, it's the top part of his chest voice and it's still so connected He is a bass singer, like his voice The uh, the ability to stay connected as he's going up in his chest voice is just so lovely oh. But committed no crime Ah, ah, e flat wow okay <laughs> so bass singer jeff just went up to an e flat five uh which is well you can hear there's a lot of that um obviously the thicker folk <laughs> the thickness has left we're in a thinner quality now but it's still it's not like pure head voice and he's also not ah, like sending lots of breath it's still very connected the vocal folds are lovely and resisted we're getting a lovely mixed quality here head uh, it's a mixed quality i would say oh, ah, 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 how he gets that fast riff in there i don't even know what he's doing there so very good and i love the that we get from everyone else before he does his rap. <laughs> Love that uh, crescendo into that note as well. Oh, it's so good. And I've watched Jeff's videos where he talks about like how, um, you know, he, uh, Chris Cornell is one of his inspirations and he wanted to kind of have, he wanted to sing similar to that. But, you know, I always say, you know, the people that we are wanting to sound like, oh, I love this sound, love this sound, I want to sing like this. There is already that voice there. So hone into what you do best, which is obviously what Jeff's done and he's like in the basement. Um, <laughs> but it's so impressive. It's so cool that he's able to do this as well and that he's worked on this. Don't be, you know, um, afraid to step out of your vocal type. It's just a label, you know. Go out and experiment with different uh, sounds and ranges that's how we're going to grow and strengthen that right really cool what is going on i love the difference <laughs> it's so evil uh yeah what had my shares and kicked in my face Ba -da -da, da -da -da, potato. <laughs> I've had my shares and kicked in my face, but I've come through. I love that on and on and on. It's repeated as well, just repeating that. Gosh, Lane going into this next section. Um, disco vibes for <laughs> We Are The Champions, sure. I love that push. 
like something we what are the lyrics behind that's interesting beautiful um head dominant mix here from oh, fighting it's just so soft and it's not loud at all from jay nun here c5 uh, he's not pushing with any volume as well he's actually softening up there so there's a lot of that head dominant thinner quality there really pure and everyone else is quite soft as well Where is your boom, boom, boom going there? Champion. There's so much going on. <laughs> I'm having a blast. We are the champions. Doom, doom, doom. I love how this is that. Is, is that from Jeff too? Or is that Lane doing that? We are the champions. We are the champions. <laughs> I love Jane. When Jane Nunn riffs down there, he's a lot more of a chest con connection there as opposed to the fighting. He's a lot more thicker. We're a little bit lower as well, but he's really like pinching his nose, letting the uh, twang help him keep bright as he descends there. Sometimes if we if we lose a little bit of that brightness, what might happen is we might fall a little bit and pit, uh, uh, we might get a little bit flat or something in some notes. But yeah, he's really like keeping that bright and letting, as he descends, keeping that bright tool helping him. You took me for everything that I had and kicked me out of my own. Tell us your story, Ellie. What happened? <laughs> Hun, where'd you come from? <laughs> what just happened? What happened? <laughs> We are getting a lovely grit that we know with Ellie as well. So it's lovely to hear this here. Um, you know, Earl offers us a lot of that high... <laughs> <laughs> way up in the sky notes um but we know ellie can do that as well and he's been kind of showcasing that in more recent uh kind of similar to what i said yesterday earlier on for me but it's interesting to see where each of their voices fit and obviously earl has that high kind of uh gritty well yeah he brings that kind of tenor voice there ellie does a lot of that now in more recent uh they have you know playing around with that rock Grit, but it's nice hearing that here as well. Um, and just come forward a lot. I'm loving the drop. Wow, <laughs> so C5 without you when I go. It just feels like it's very spoken, like da, 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 da. like he's singing, it's to the notes, but it's it's an extension of our voice after all, right? We don't have to, like, suddenly I'm in my speaking voice, uh, singing voice, <laughs> you know, it we are just extending, hey, hey. Like, just call out to someone, yeah, hey, we're still extending that. Do you think I'm gonna get along without you when you're gone? You took me for everything that I had and kicked me out of my own. What? Are you happy? Are you satisfied? I'll look in this game of you. Gosh, I, <laughs> I want to hear Ellie sing. Um, it's like heaven on heaven on he heaven on their minds, heaven on my minds from Jesus Christ Superstar, like something like that. I think it would be like. So good. Uh, C sharp. Are you satisfied? Are you ready? Like it's just really calling this out. Stop you when you're gone. You took me for everything that I had and kicked me out of my own. Are you happy? Are you satisfied? I'll look in this game of you. Out of the door. Mm -hmm. Look at that drop of the larynx. Sometimes, like, we don't need to drop that larynx to reach that low note, but when with that drop, we're just enhancing that lower quality because we're making that vocal tract. Another one buys the dust. Oh, this is cool. Little crossover from those two. We will rock you and another one buys the dust. Uh, I think it. Like the he's on a C sharp and a D sharp there. E flat. I, I, I don't know where we are. Uh, what was that? <laughs> like it's so tiny, but it's still getting such a chest spoken like feel to it. Oh, 
I love how high the baseline is here for Jeff. And that uh, we get a lovely kind of swell slide uh, from Jeff as well, going to this transition. Really cool. <laughs> I love in the free free oh that's so tricky to do actually <laughs> free free because uh i mean it's in a different placement for me anyway so but e the space is smaller right if i was going ah it's way more evident to go from a thicker fold to a thinner e that's so cool that is so cool. Like, he's getting a lovely ear vowel and free. It's not free, free, free. And then he's getting that flip there. Ah, oh, it's so, because the space is smaller, it's like E, and it's a smaller space than R. It's just a lot more closer to that quality that we want to get to. So the change is a lot less evident. So we just have to get that a bit more evident for him. And he's doing this so well because he's still maintaining a thicker feel on the first bit before he goes, da. And flips up there. I want to break free. I want to break free from your lies. You're so satisfied. I don't need you. God knows I want to break free. Yeah, change, break free. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> oh, I love this connection. Um, you know, maintaining a really lovely um different like he's uh free yeah he's in his first passage going to his second passage around this tricky area for earl this is like golden time he knows where his voice needs to go he knows how much he wants to get louder or he wants to get quieter how much resistance he needs to add in to create that full sound connection oh, great Ah, uh, I love the change as well. We've gotten a lot softer. All vocals, right? No percussive sounds here. Um, and again, that uh, it wasn't evident flip, but we did get a lot more falsetto here from uh, Earl. Really nice, and that bass descending line. Yum. When you know the rules. That heartbeat so as well. Easy. Was going on yeah he grew in um uh, a twang there as well yeah, yeah. as he slid through as he went glissando down ah, as he you know navigated through this little section of area of his voice yeah. it's like he got tinier he the area epiglottis sphincter which is where the twang is made that's getting tighter as well as we're increasing that kind of to just to thicken up that sound we can't thicken up that sound by increasing the thickness of our vocal folds because we're going up to a c5 um we can do but for this particular slide yeah like it will just be too heavy yeah so he's going to do that with twang i don't know where i got game from game it's it was a b flat to a c sorry <laughs> I love the bass line here. Ah, oh, Lane is providing the beat. So you think you can stone me and spit in my eye? So you think you can love me and leave me to die? Oh, baby. Oh, I love that 
empty it's on da but then we get a slight kind of like just behind me on my left ear that's where it's coming from listen to with headphones um it's like some breath maybe post production i'm not sure but uh like ascending there that's cool I love where he's going with this. This is so fun. I love the effect that was on uh, Lane's vocal line there, the beatboxing line there, but that's so cool. We could hear everything really. Jeff, dum, 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 just dum, dum. Uh, I can't do it. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> dum, dum. That's so good. Where is he taking everyone? <laughs> Notice it's not, show must go on, show must go on. Like it's quite on an ah vowel there. Ah. Lots of twang. <laughs> Again, lovely tell that twang is being played and like just showing teeth. It's like everything is helping him remain bright tiny still because we want to rely on the twang to get that volume out he's not pushing lots of volume so good So that was such an interesting concept. And that was like, and they ended with the show must go on as well. Oh, that was so cute. Well, what a fantastic day two it's been. I hope you've enjoyed today's reaction and analysis video. If you did, please go ahead and click that subscribe button, the bell button and the thumbs up button. And remember day three was chosen by my lovely patrons. So I will see you tomorrow for my day three reaction to a voice play song. I'll see you there. Bye.